Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Govinsky's Tutorials. Today I'm looking at Digitalism or Digitalism 2000 by AudioKit Pro. So this is part of their limited edition range of apps, which means that when it first comes out, it's available for a limited period of time at a very cheap price. It's only $3. And then after some time, it will go up to a ridiculously expensive price. So be aware of that and get it quickly if you're interested in it. Now, I've got five copies of this to give away to subscribers to the channel, and all the details of what you need to do to win are in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section in YouTube. Good luck, everybody. Now, uh, let's first just talk very briefly about what this is. So, this is a rompler. So, it's not a sampler, because you can't record your own sounds into it, but it's also not a synth, because it doesn't generate its own sounds. So it does behave in many ways like a synth, but it's sample based. And the samples are taken from early 2000s digital synths that have been multi-sampled by apparently some award-winning sound engineers and so on. Now it sounds really great, so what I'm going to do in today's video is first let you just hear a few presets and then I'll walk you through the app and we'll look at the features so we can see here it's divided into two screens. I'll also let you hear the main samples that we use as kind of building blocks to make our sounds. Because if you look at the presets, uh, what you'll find is that presets are generally made of two different samples combined together. And we can mix the uh, volume levels, etc, etc, and the panning and so on of those samples. As well as apply different effects like phaser, filtering, um, delay, reverb, and so on. Okay, so first let's just listen to some of my favorite presets. So real nice sound quality there, great retro sounds, and there are a lot of presets. So there are almost a hundred different presets there. Now let's look at the way this works then basically. So like I said in the introduction, the presets are generally made of two different samples layered together. So let's just sample some of these samples. So you can see if we click in here, we get 66 different sounds that we can use to combine together to build up presets. Or of course, you can just use these sounds alone. So I'm testing the beta version here. Actually, one thing I asked for was maybe some 
arrow buttons or something to help scroll through these things instead of having to go in and pick them. I think what AudioKit have said they'll do is actually allow you to audition these in here, which would be really cool. So this will be slightly different when the app comes out. It will be easier to audition things than it is now. Okay, let's have a listen to some of these. So you get the idea. So 66 different sounds there. Now, if we look on the main page, here we have the part where we can mix our parts together. So at the moment, I turned part one up very high there. But if we look at a typical preset, here we can see we've got a mix of part one and part two volume. So obviously, one thing we can do is experiment with how loud each part is. And of course, you could modulate these. So let's take a look and see if the parameters are exposed. And yes, here we are. So you could set some LFOs to play around with the level of the different parts if you wanted. Um, now, if we look over here, we've got a reverb. So let's listen to what the reverb sounds like. I'll get a pluck sound. So let's bring up the reverb mix level. Bring down the size. So that's the reverb. We've also got a limiter here, so we can also use this for some extreme compression. And then we've got auto pan. Also got a delay. Strangely, the delay only has free time, so only in milliseconds. There's no synced delay times. I find that a bit strange, I must admit. Delay feedback and mix level. What is nice though is that the delay can go down to really, really short delay times, like 0.01 seconds. And this, especially with high feedback levels, can give us really nice resonant sounds. And then we can make it mono and have control over glide time, useful for basses and leads. Got our ADSR envelope. And then click in on more, we come into the second page. So here we choose our sound sources, source one, source two. And here we can play around with various things. So semitones, a smaller detune amount and panning for that individual source.
Now don't forget you've also got the auto pan. And then we have a phaser. Again, with parameters exposed, you could modulate something like the notch with an LFO, which would sound really cool. We have then our harmonic filter, which in this vintage poly patch is already turned on. We can turn it off if we want. Um, so we have cutoff and resonance and key tracking control to make sure that the balance of the filter opening in the lower register and the higher register is what we're looking for. And here we have our filter envelope. So we can control exactly when the filter comes in and how long it lasts and so on. So simple enough app, really nice sounding for the price seriously hard to beat. A lot of very nice presets in there. Great way to get great retro sound for cheap. Another thing is, even though it's sample based, it takes up very little space, relatively speaking. Obviously, it's going to be more than your average synth, but it's only 200 megabytes or something, less than 200 megabytes. Uh, that's pretty amazing considering how many sounds it contains. So really at this price, this is a bit of a no-brainer purchase. Three dollars? I would not think twice about buying this, as long as you like these kind of sounds. Definitely well, well worth it. Now, everyone, if you are new to the channel, let me just tell you that I put out about two videos a week, sometimes more, and always have, well, almost always have free copies of apps to give away. At the moment, I'm only doing iOS, but I'm also going to start doing some desktop apps as well soon. And I've been doing this channel for about six months. There are about 100 videos in the archives. So take a look through those archives if you haven't. There's a lot of good stuff in there. I've done videos on other... I did a video on Housemark One, which is another audio kit app that I reviewed. But I've done tons of stuff. And uh, this app is quite simple. There's not much need for a detailed tutorial. But really, I think one of the things that marks my channel um, apart is that I often really, really go in very, very deep into complex apps. Uh, for example, check out the video that I did recently on Polyphase, um, an extremely cool MIDI generator uh, that was about an hour long tutorial on a, on a really quite uh, complex app. So a lot of people are finding these tutorials very useful. So if you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're an old viewer, thanks again. I really, really appreciate everyone's continued support. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.